Hi again. After all the drama from the past couple of weeks, today I have another story for you. It's called A Bad Drought. It was a very dry time. In the country, rain would not fall. The tanks were dry and the children had to take pans to the rivers and wells for water. But the rivers did not have much water. The farmer was in trouble. His land was dry and hard as rock. He did not have water for his farm or his animals. His crops looked dead and his cows looked ready to drop. He said, this drought is going to kill my animals. If rain does not fall, things are going to be very bad. We must get rain. Day after day, he looked for rain. But there were no clouds in the blue sky. The sun was like a ball of fire. In the towns, they did not have water all the time. Sometimes they locked off the water. The newspapers and radio said, This is a bad drought. The dams do not have any water. People could not water their flowers or wash their cars. Sometimes the children at school did not have water to drink or wash their hands. The place was hot and dry and dusty. The trees looked dead. Day after day, they looked for rain, but there were no clouds in the sky, and the sun was like a ball of fire. In the markets, the market women did not have good fruits and vegetables to sell. They said, the time is dry. We cannot get good fruits and vegetables to buy from the farmer. We have to take the little that we can get. This is a bad drought. Only the Lord can tell what is going to happen to us. Day after day, they look for rain. Then one day, the clouds got black. Thunder clapped and lightning flashed in the sky. The rain was coming. At first, it came slowly in big drops. Then it came down in a rush, and it rained and rained. The tanks were full. The rivers were full. The dams were full. The drought was over. I hope you like that story. And just to add on a little to it because it's so short, I have a poem called Zachariah Z. Zachariah Z, Zachariah Z saw a big dumpling in his bed. He started to eat, but it stuck in his teeth. So they called him Zachariah Dumpling Head. The end. I hope you enjoyed that little story and that little poem. <laughs> I used to really enjoy that poem when I was a little girl. <laughs> Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.